All right, I'm here today to talk to you about to-do lists because writing stuff down works. Come on. There we go. So to-do lists are pretty old hack as far as productivity methods and life hacks. Uh, people have been using them for a long time. I love this. That's one of my favorite images. Uh, <laughs> LMFAO's to-do list if you're not getting a joke. Anyhow, <laughs> so, but I want to talk to you today about how you can take a little bit of psychology and a little bit of other processes and kind of inject things into your to-do list process and make it better for you, make it more uh, productive for you, make it better. There's been a lot of things in LifeHack, or LifeHack.com and the rest of the, the LifeHack community where they change things up a little bit with to-do lists change the way that, around the way that they work, which helps make your the process a little more natural and has some additional psychological benefits, which I'll get into. But first, because I'm me, I want to talk to you about psychology. Uh, so the Z Garnick effect, and some of you probably heard me ramble about this before, but the Z Garnick effect was discovered by this lovely young Russian, Luma Vulfogna Z Garnick. She was a psychologist. And this was her dissertation, basically, her PhD. Uh, she did a study on restaurant waiters in a restaurant. And like in one of the cafes, I believe she was in Germany at the time. And she watched them come up and, you know, but they do that thing that really annoying waiters do where they just take your entire table, like a 10 tops table worth of orders, and they walk away and they don't write it down. You know, like they're going to freaking forget it. But they don't because they're jerks and they like to show off. She saw them doing this and she goes, what the heck is that? You know, how can they do that? How can those people do that? So she actually built up a study where she was jerked back to the waiters and would interrupt them, like as they're walking back, you know, to the kitchen to put in the order. And then she would interrupt them again after the table left. So when she caught them between like the table, you know, when the table was still there and still in their mind, they could recite back words perfectly for an entire 10 top, uh, you know, table. As soon as they left, gone, out of their brains. They couldn't tell you what the hell the people ordered. So the Zygarnik effect is basically people remember uncompleted or interrupted tasks better than completed tasks. This has two interesting effects, which we'll get into. First, though, there is an amazing place where the Zygarnik effect has been exploited like crazy. And most of you have probably seen it, especially if you play video games. This is the quest list for Skyrim. Quests in video games are an extremely big exploitation of the Zygarnik effect. Because every time you walk into a new area, you get a new to-do list of things to do. And your brain says, ah, stuff I gotta do. And starts going, okay, I mean, I've seen people and talked to people. You walk into a new area in an MMO and you don't leave that area until you check every damn thing off that list. Regardless of how many, like, you know, go still kill seven pages and come back with their high bullshit quest to hit. You do every one of those things. Because your brain gets mad at you if you don't. And they know that, and they build these things specifically to get you in there, spending more time in their game, engaging with their content, paying more for their premium stuff or for the subscription. So where does this get into the to-do list? Stuff? Well, for starters, a to-do list is interesting because it is a list of things in progress, like the quests. So putting something on your to-do list actually helps you because it triggers your Z Garnick effect. Writing it down on the list will help you remember that that's a thing you have to do today. It will keep it fresh in your mind, especially if you're doing these things on a daily basis. I use a methodology called Strike Through for my to-do list. Yeah, it's, it's big enough now that they have like their own names and websites. It's actually strike.ru, which is even funnier. Uh, it's so web 3.0, it makes me want to vomit. <laughs> the Strike Through system, it's pretty, the system is pretty simple though. Um, you have a list of stuff, you brainstorm your items and you put them into the dump. Any to-do lists for things like projects or organized things, they go into this place called the vault. Any date-specific things or appointments go into the calendar. And then finally, you're feeding all these things into what they call a live list when they're ready to be worked on. So this is an example of the live list. This is what I use daily. I used to use a smaller thing, but when I switched this right through, I got a larger book. Uh, you see there's nine items. And it's got nine prioritized items a day. So down the left-hand side is the number of the item. Down the right-hand side is the priority. 
And because there's nine items, I use the one, one, three, threes, five, five technique. So I don't organize it one through nine, keep it a little more broad, but there's only one live list a day. There's another method where you can have only one live list at a time. And if you don't, you know, complete enough things in a day, but we, most of us go through enough crap in our day that we can, we're going to go through one list a day. These things are filled from the dump and optionally the vault or the calendar. The dump is really easy. When you recognize or remember a task, you write it down. Whenever your brain comes at you and says, you remember that thing you didn't do? You're like, oh yeah, and then you write it down in the dump. Whenever your you know, significant other comes at you and says, well, we have to do these three things this weekend, you roll your eyes and then you write them down in the dump. The dump is where everything goes to live. The best part though, is that it actually tricks your Zygarnica brain. It tricks your brain. So when you put something into the dump, it, the, the Zygarnik effect goes, oh, well that's done with. And it won't remind you about the things that you have written down when you consider them in the done area. Like if you can conceive of the dump as, yeah, I don't have to remember that anymore. I don't have to worry about it. It's exactly like when you go Google for something and you don't remember what the hell the, you know, the end result was or where the site was. You just remember what the search terms were that got you there. It's exactly the same thing. You're just treating this like an external memory piece. The nice part though, is that that drops your general level of anxiety because you're not waking up at two in the morning with like, oh God, I forgot to feed the fish because it went in your list. If you do that though, please talk to me because that's not great. Um, but that's the purpose of the dump. Is it this all purpose place where things go to live? The vault though is kind of more organized. So if you have a specific project you're working on at your home or work or some side project, you can organize to-do lists by those types in the vault. So the vault is a more structured dump, basically. You can also put recurring lists on there. I have ones that are weekly for things like, you know, chores I've got to do at home or exercises I have to do that week. And they're tagged by content. So they are ones that are weekly, they are ones that are projects, they are ones that are goals. They've got a whole list of, uh, somewhere in here I have the, yeah, whole list of types that you can or code your stuff by. The calendar, it's really simple. The calendar, a task summit, that's it. Done. Appointments, things that are date specific. Yay. Yeah. So you go through this review process every day, at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day. Uh, it's preferable to do it at the end of the day because again, that helps you sleep better because you know what you're ready to come and you know what's coming down the pipe the next day. But I'm usually lazy and do it in the morning. So but you look at your vault and you put items from the vault on your live list. And then you look at the calendar, you put items from the calendar on the live list. And then if you have spots left, you grab things out of the dump and you put them in the live list yeah. until the live list is full. And at that point, you have nine things, and that's your to-do list for the day. If you get through those nine, you're awesome. And you can add more. Sometimes I do. That's really it, though. You may have noticed, though, I had some scribblings on those circles. I added an additional bit to this. I don't remember where the hell I picked up this technique in the first place. But um, it's this check process that I use. So if it's an empty circle, I mean, I haven't started it yet. If it's got a slash to it, that means I've started it and I need to complete it. And if it's got a two slashes, that means complete it. It's just kind of a in progress marker for the things I'm working on. So that's my personal trigger for like my little, like, you know, my Zygarnik effect is where it comes in. When I look at the list and see empty circles, that's when my brain starts screaming at me, oh, you've got all these things to do. So that's pretty much it. Anybody have any questions? You can go to strike through and get templates for how to live or how to use it. Ready? Have you uh, heard of meditative feminine? The witch? Uh, I have not. It is uh, actually, it's more like an yeah. attack thing, but it takes a gamification from this to it. You actually, you gotta check it out. Let's check it out. It's basically a hack and building app, but it has a game mode to it. Where you like score points for your queen cabinet, and you use points if you don't do something that you can do. Okay. I have reser reservations about that, but I'll take a look. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, a tip that I use, and I don't know that it's probably not related to your effect, but it's pretty similar. If there's something I know I need to do the next day, I will like shove something in my wallet that I know it shouldn't be there or something. Like something out of the ordinary so that I wake up the next morning and say, hey, why is there this folder in my wallet? It doesn't make sense. And like, oh, I meant to do this. <laughs> <laughs> why is there a live badger in my you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, What's this underwear? <laughs> Where do you put the live bag? <laughs> <laughs> it runs around on the couch. Basically, I have a
Any other questions? Awesome. Thank you guys.